selectmen's update slash report. Um, well, we made it to the election. <laughs> I was very glad to see that the contracts got passed in the wastewater treatment plan. To be honest with you, I think everything else was not important as those things, so I'm happy to see them pass. And we did not reorganize last night because we felt that with all the times Rick Griffin did serve as the selectman, he should be there for the reorganization. So we will be doing that next week. And I have decided not to accept any nomination for chairman because I feel like some legwork hasn't been done yet. So I will keep the board updated on that and hopefully I can bring some new ideas to the selectmen and get some independent knowledge from outside this town to see how we can maybe better ourselves. And that's it for now. Questions or discussion on the selectmen's report? Is there any update upon the PCB thing? On the water? Oh, the, oh we're yeah. actually, they're coming in April 2nd for an update. I did receive the report, and as far as aquarium wells go, there is no, nothing significant, no significant changes. It's remained level the whole time they've been testing it. So they are going to come in, though, and figure out what the short-term action plan would be if, if it's needed and when it's needed that they do turn, they need to turn well six back on. They obviously would like to do some type of a treatment before they just let that water out into the system. And then they're also going to talk about possibly being able to implement well 22 right before peak time. So they're going to have that all in a report and present that on April 2nd. So. Thank you. Hi, um, Regina, I saw in today's Portsmouth Herald that they did some testing um, for our, la our own landfill. Oh, yes, the monitoring wells in the landfill. Yeah, we and talked they found about some that. PCBs there as well. I was kind of surprised because I thought that was like a big, they put everything in a big, well, most big bag. Remember? Uh, the bottom of yeah, they didn't put oh, the really? bottom. Oh, yeah. really? I didn't know that. The they only had the bottom. <laughs> I thought it was a. I thought it was all contained in a big bit. Okay, but That's that was the explanation. over the top. Okay. That was just done as our regular <laughs> monitoring, but um, per the recommendation of both the town manager and the deputy town manager, they wanted to add the PFC testing in with that as well. Right. So, you know, the board of selectmen through town management was very proactive in having that added, and it will continually be tested. Simulate the way that Aquarian is. You know, I don't think it's going to be monthly, monthly, but whatever the requirements are, yeah. they will continue monitoring that. And the, there's a little difference because it's not in the actual drinking water, but mm -hmm. I mean, still it's floating around. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it would be nice if all the closed landfills in the state would do that and be transparent about it, but that doesn't be to seem the case right now. So, thank you very much. No problem. Anything else on the Seconds report? I'll note that last night you uh, discussed Article 44, and it was proclaimed to be advisory only. Is that uh, correct? Yeah. That is that the for the, the sunny? Yeah. yeah. It was referred to as the Kravitz emotion. Uh, yeah, no, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what I was going to call it. <laughs> but it was Article 44, actually. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, that I was think the one that, that said that there would be a limitation on raises unless approved by town meeting. Right, and. We, for right now, deemed it to be advisory because it is in violation of RSA 37? I think it was 236, he said, oh. was it? Something like that? No, it's, it's the town manager, mm. RSA. I'm not sure what the number is, saying that he has the authority for that. I recall the percentage in favor of that was like 3 to 2, I believe, like two-thirds voted for it, something like that. It was, might have been higher. I don't remember specifically, but well, yeah, it was rather too. large. And a lot of people voted for the non-smoking, too, right. which is all fine and nice, but, I mean, how is it going to get enforced? <laughs> I mean, I think littering of a cigarette should be enforced, but well, other than that, it's going to be pretty difficult. One, one's a, uh, a limitation on the general public smoking, and the other's a limitation on politicians that spend money. Uh, there's a difference, in my mind, uh, between those two in that respect. Um, it is advisory. I'm wondering how much weight this body should place on that advice, in your opinion. Well, I think that we should all wait, both this committee and the Board of Selectmen, until we have conducted our, we're going to do sort of like an organizational chart from town manager down, uh -huh. all the departments, okay. who's worked there, how long. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to show this information. I hope it does. When's the last time they got hit? How long have they worked here? Mm -hmm. You know, some of our hourly employees, I mean, no one's taking the jobs. These people are leaving and 
no one's coming to fill the positions because the wage is so low. So we need to look at it more of in a broad picture, I think, and rather just like debating whether or not we're going to give a 1% overall or 1.5% or a 2% or whatever it is. But I think it needs to be done more that way, more broader and uh, bird's eye view of the whole organization. That's the selectman's view or your individual view? Well, that's what the town management's working on to prepare to give to the selectmen. Okay. I think that's you know, a good Jamie, way to go. Jamie, deputy yeah. town manager, is you know in charge of all that human resource, so he will be preparing that and giving it to the board at some point. I'm told in April, so we're hoping to have, you know, not drag out like we did last year. So. Yeah. 